Triple D introduces the first hypermobility lumbar model. Constructed with a two-part disc and a reflective three-dimensional nucleus pulposus, now patients can understand clearly the effects of a hypermobile motion segment. Under flexion load, demonstrate how the facets will ride up against one another. And in comparison, use any of our other models demonstrating how a disc should be stiffer and how the facets will not approximate one another as frequently. Other anatomical features include interposed disc herniation with granulation tissue. From a top-down view, you can clearly see the reflective material within the nucleus pulposus and how it pushes posteriorly under flexion load. And from a treatment standpoint, you can demonstrate how the nucleus will actually migrate anteriorly in extension. Also, this model can now demonstrate how important a disc is in the stability of the facet joint. With a hypermobile anterior disc, the facets will approximate and rub more frequently causing pain and fibrillation within the hyaline cartilage. Again, you can demonstrate how flexion load will push the nucleus posteriorly into the interposed disc herniation. As you can see here in red, flexion migration will push the nucleus into the annulus causing symptoms. This is very effective when trying to educate patients about the deleterious effects of frequent and repetitive flexion loading on the disc. With this new hypermobility model, patients can clearly see the effects of their motion in their spine. Let them know that their motion will make a difference in the outcome of their treatment plan. Visit dynamicdiscdesigns.com for more.